old Canadian war veterans threw caution to the wind this weekend. Wes Oak jumped from a plane about 3,000 meters above ground in Nova Scotia. His reaction after safely touching down? That's a feeling you can't explain. Yeah. What the? Oh, <laughs> Oak fought in Italy during the Second World War. The tandem jump raised money for a park in Gander, Newfoundland. In the skies over southern Ontario today, an iconic piece of Canadian aviation history took flight. During the Second World War, the Harvard aircraft trained Allied pilots and air crew. Today, those men and women were honored. The CBC's Natalie Collada was there. Here it comes from Harvard. They were known as pilot makers, the yellow peril, agile with that distinctive roar. For decades, the Harvard aircraft trained Canadian and NATO pilots heading into battle. This weekend, the plane celebrated 75 years in Canada, and veterans who learned to fly in them were back in the air. The heat, and the sun beaming in through that first X uh, cockpit, and uh, all of the other smells that go along with it, and it's, it's, it was immense, just joyful. The flight brought back memories for Ron Anderson. I soloed on this aircraft on August the 14th, 1953, at Penhold, Alberta. The yellow planes could be tricky to handle. A lot of pilots, or a lot of the students, ground loose. They lost control on takeoff easily, and it swerved off the runway and digs up a lot of dirt, so occasionally ends up on the nose. Over 130,000 air crew members were trained on these planes during the Second World War. Many of the pilots just young men. These are courageous. They're courageous. Walter Irwin was 25 years old when he trained in the Harvards. A Pathfinder pilot during the Second World War, it was his job to fly over well-defended Nazi targets, drop flares for the waves of bombers, then get out alive. When you've completed 60 missions, you've had a lot of bad experiences. We got shot up and so forth, you know. This week, Irwin climbed back inside the old trainer for the first time since 1945. He was eager as anybody I've ever seen. He hopped over to that wheelchair and he walked to the airplane. Well, I just think what a lucky guy I am to still be alive and have had that experience. Irwin's pilot this weekend, Canadian astronaut Bjarni Trigvasson. It was a great honor, great honor for me to fly. And a third of the airplanes were shot down. So to survive 60 missions over a four-year period is pretty, pretty unique, you know. The planes are no longer used to train Air Force pilots. That's now the job of the new Harvard twos. They learn everything from takeoffs and landings to advanced aerobatics to low level to formation to instruments. Everything that it would take a lot of years, they learn in a short period of time. Lessons that were part of the training Walter Irwin says kept him alive. Natalie Gladys, CBC News, Tilsonburg, Ontario. From wartime heroes in the skies to heroes on the battlefield.